coming to you with another beauty and a budget product is the LA Girl Pro Prep HD High Definition Smooth and Face Primer. Want to hear my thoughts on this? Would I recommend you purchasing this, adding this to your collection, using it? Is it good for oily combo skin like myself or dry combo? You want to hear my thoughts? Please continue watching. Now, LA Girl has been coming out with a lot of hot products. Everybody's going crazy. They have the, the what you call it, the like liquid lipsticks in the little tube. They have the matte lip glosses, the, the palettes, the beauty bricks. And they have blushes, eyeshadows in the beauty bricks. But they came out with a Pro Prep HD line which included a face primer, face powder. And I'm going to do the powder, the satin powder reviewed after and also the satin spray so I have a review on the satin spray and you guys can check it below but their prices are a little higher than the regular beauty supply store price like City Color even Elf you know um, their prices are closer to whatever class as NYX prices so maybe just a tad little let cheaper than NYX but around the NYX prices, NYX prices so would I recommend it I have some iffy situ I have some iffy things with this. And for me it's an iffy situation. First off, the price, again, like I said, is comparable more to NYX than you would say City Color or Elf. You get half the amount that you will get in those uh, primers. This has 0 0.50 fluid ounces, 50 m 15 ml. I checked my hard candy, I checked my NYX, and even the Elf is maybe a little is more than this for less price you get a very my main surprise when I opened a new package of this was that I squeezed here look I'm literally squeezing all of this can you guys see all of this I'm squeezing I was like what did I buy a half empty product here looked and said oh my it's 0.5 fluid ounces digged up through my hard candy all of those we get one fluid ounce in those what on earth half the product so you don't get when you see this package and it's small already in size you do not get this whole tube fill it's half I was totally dismayed with that that was like you know first impression almost the last impression because <sighs> to me it doesn't have Okay, let me just read the claims. It says help, smooth, and fill in lines and pores. No, I have to use a pore, um, something to blow my pores in addition to using this, which to me doesn't make any sense because Elf has a pore, um, poreless primer. NYX has one. Um, the hard candy on doesn't claim except for the wrinkles and lines, which the hard candy also helps to blow pores. So, all in all, this doesn't do what it claims to do and the others actually do and they're cheaper. I just can't get over the fact that they're cheaper. It says paraben and fragrance free. I don't know about the paraben but you don't get a fragrance and it's rich with vitamin E. You do feel the slip. Now the slip comes from the fact that it has silica in it. Now silica is the one, two, three, fourth ingredient. However, you put it on, you feel the silica like almost all over your hands. You do get that slip because it does have dimetricone in it. So that, and if you're in the sun, you're gonna sweat a lot and it's gonna bleed, your foundation is gonna bleed and come off. It's not keeping my foundation on, anything like that. Primers generally do that. This is not doing it. I think this is like two thumbs down. I wasn't impressed with the spray. And I'm not impressed with the face primer. Would not recommend you to spend your money and get this. Get the ones from ELF, NYX, um, City Color. They have a new primer. Definitely check it out. I didn't too like the City Color primer because I felt that I was more for dry combo skin. And this definitely is not even for dry combo, oily combo skin. It just does not prime. I had, I had a friend who has dry skin used it and she... She didn't like it at all. She actually gave it back to me. I was like, you know, keep it, keep it. If you want it, she was like, Rana, no, I don't like that thing. It's making my face like grease up really fast. For her, I for me, I didn't find that I grease. I got like 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 a grease ball. 
um, after a couple hours. But for her, she said, because she travels to work and stuff like that, she said it was horrendous for her. She looked like she could flip burgers on her face when she reached her work. And that was like after an hour or an hour and a half of wearing it. So for me, I wouldn't recommend you to get this. I would give this a 2 out of 5. Don't like it. And for the cost, it should have been much, 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 much better. So to me, this was another letdown from LA Girl. But I'm not dissing the brand because they do have some good stuff. Just that this. Mm -mm. Hope that this review was helpful for those of you who were checking out this product. If it did, please go ahead and thumbs up this video. I'll appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And it shows that you are enjoying my reviews that I am bringing to you. So until next time, take care and God bless.